Hey everyone, it's Joey from Build Awesome Websites. Today, I want to show you a little layout technique with CSS Grid and talk a little bit about CSS Grid. So, what I have here is what I call a sticky flexible sidebar. So this sidebar is a sticky sidebar, meaning as you scroll down, you can see the contents in the sidebar stay there. And as I expand or minimize the browser, you can see it also flexes horizontally. So it's flexible and it's a sticky sidebar. So here's the CSS. This is so dirt simple. I love it. So what I have in my markup is I have the sidebar up top, and then I have a page with a main uh, div inside of it. So let's look at the page first. The page is where I'm uh, declaring display grid, and then I'm creating what are called template columns. So the grid template columns mean here are the width of my columns in sequence as they're laid out on the page. So you can imagine from left to right, I'm creating columns. In this case, I'm only creating two. So each dimension that you add here will uh, add a new column. So in this case, I have two columns, one that is a dimension of 20 viewport widths and one that's a dimension of auto. So this 20 viewport widths is dynamic and this auto is dynamic. So basically this is saying, uh, you know, my first column is going to take up that dimension. My second column is just going to take up all the room that's left over. The main div here is inside of my page where the grid is. And what I'm telling main to do is start at grid column number two. Then my sidebar, it's not a part of the grid, it's sitting outside. And what I did with that is I gave it a position of fixed, and then I gave it the same width dimension as the first column. So you can imagine it's actually fixed and it's kind of like sitting on top of this first column, which I just emptied, I just vacated the first column. So just to show you how things would overlap, if I actually had this main uh, div start at column one, you can see it if I actually gave the sidebar background, so it's actually sitting underneath. So obviously, you know, we don't want that. We want it to sit at number two. So you can see as I scroll this side, it's just a sticky sidebar. And look at how little CSS we had to do to make this sticky sidebar. It's really, really cool. So a few of the resources that have really helped me understand and learn CSS Grid, and I'm still learning it. Uh, one is uh, CSS Tricks has a really nice guide to CSS Grid. Also, Rachel Andrew, who's really been a pioneer and helps to pave the way for CSS Grid, she has a website called CSS Grid by Example. And that one's really nice because you can look at the examples and they're like, oh yeah, I want to do a layout that's kind of like that. How do I do that? You just look at the CSS that she wrote for it and you get to really start to see how cool and simple CSS Grid is. All those links will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please be sure to do all the like, comment, subscribing stuff if you want more uh, quick tutorials or in-depth tutorials, anything to do with CSS, uh, HTML, and also WordPress development. Please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.